welcome back to Robin Miller Cooks. Today I have a great idea for you for your summer vegetables, zucchini, yellow squash, fresh basil, great idea for a summer casserole. I know that normally when people think of casseroles they think of heavy winter dishes but this summer casserole just kind of celebrates the season and it's fresh and it's light and it's fun and the whole family's gonna love it. You can serve it as a main dish, you can serve it as a side dish with grilled steak. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So get to your garden, get to the market, get the ingredients, and we're gonna make a summer casserole. First you wanna start off with three medium zucchini and three yellow squash, and we're gonna cut them into quarter inch thick strips. I like to think of it as cutting them into uh, like lasagna strips. So the way I do that, the way I think it's the easiest, is I cut off the ends, and then it makes a nice base for the zucchini and the yellow squash to stand up and then get a super sharp knife and just slice straight down and you're going to do that with all six so you have these pieces that are kind of like lasagna that we're going to grill and layer into a baking dish think of this as like a vegetarian lasagna i'll keep slicing I'm finishing up the last of the yellow squash and if you get to the end and it seems like too difficult to slice, I can get another one out of here. But if it gets to be where you feel like that it could slip, then you can just set it on its side and slice away this way. And that way you don't have to worry about it slipping and, and you getting cut. So there you go. Perfecto. Now we're going to get these onto a hot grill pan and get them golden brown on both sides. And they'll get nice and tender and easy to work with. Follow me to the grill. First get your grill pan nice and hot, medium high, and coat it with some olive oil cooking spray. Get it nice and coated. And then we'll start adding the zucchini and yellow squash. Just add the vegetables right to the hot grill pan. And as you can see, we're gonna run out of room. So work in batches for this so you don't crowd the pan. You want every piece to get golden brown on both sides. So we'll start there. And we're gonna season with salt and pepper as we go. Look how beautifully golden brown these are. Isn't that beautiful? And the grill marks add flavor, especially if you have a well-seasoned grill pan. Now I'm going to just season this side with salt and pepper. And we continue to go along just putting these aside. It's okay if they cool down because we're going to put the whole thing together as a casserole and bake it in the oven. And we'll just keep cooking away. I moved the camera a little bit so you could really see down in. Let's get some more zucchini in here. And just line them up. I'm on batch number three now. I didn't think you needed to see the same thing over and over again. There's batch number three going in. Season with salt and pepper. And the ones that are set aside that I've already cooked are, I'm just piling them up on a plate and that way they can kind of steam as they sit here. There they are. So I'll keep plugging away. All right, I'm taking the last batch of zucchini and yellow squash off the grill pan. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? There's so much flavor. You could just put this plate out and everybody would be happy. But we're gonna take it over to the counter and we're going to get the rest of the components together and assemble this beautiful summer casserole. The next step is the cheesy layer, which is kind of like, it reminds me of a lasagna layer. So we've got a 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese, part skim ricotta. I like to use a fork, I think it's easier to blend all these ingredients. And this is where another summer fresh vegetable comes in. I have pesto recipes on my blog, but you can certainly buy a refrigerated variety of pesto. So that's about half a cup, three quarters of a cup. The measurements aren't a big deal, you can't really go wrong. So fresh basil pesto goes in there. And then I've got some shredded mozzarella cheese, one and a quarter cups, but I'm gonna save a quarter cup for the top, so I'm just gonna put about a cup in. Let's see, that's about a quarter cup, yeah. You can always add more to the topping. So then you just give this a quick mix and that flavor of the basil that tastes like it came fresh out of your garden, blending with those grilled vegetables, and then we're gonna add some fire roasted tomatoes too. You are gonna love this. So I'll get this blended. This is perfectly blended now, nice and smooth. And I've gotta tell you, the fork really does all the work. So I'm going to grab my baking dish, set the camera up a little bit higher so you can look right down in as I assemble. 
All right, I've got my baking dish all ready. I'm gonna spray the bottom and the sides with non-stick cooking spray. I use olive oil flavor just because we used olive oil with the zucchini and the yellow squash. And here they are. So I'm going to just arrange these in no particular order into the bottom of the pan and I'm slightly overlapping them as you'll see when I get to the other end. Got that camera high but it sure would be nice if it was just hanging from the ceiling. But I'll pick this up so you can see. And you want to use half so be kind of generous with the vegetables in the bottom and leave half on the plate for the next layer. So no one's gonna see this, but isn't that pretty? Okay, now we take half of the cheese, the ricotta cheese, mozzarella, and pesto mixture and put that right over top. Doesn't this remind you kind of a, of a lasagna? And then just plop that in there and then smooth it out. Half of that, smooth it over the vegetables. And now the next layer I am using canned fire roasted diced tomatoes, but it is summer when I'm doing this. So if you have beautiful, I need one more spoonful. If you have beautiful summer tomatoes, by all means, grab those, dice them up and use them instead. Nothing better than some fresh tomatoes from your own garden or heirloom tomatoes. But here are the ones from the can. The important thing about that is to just drain them if you're using the fire roasted ones from the can. Drain them first through a colander or a sieve and again, we're using half. I used two 14 ounce cans. So one can goes in this layer and the next can will go on top. So we'll put that down over the mixture. Okay, now for the rest of the zucchini and yellow squash. Right on top. Last piece of zucchini on top. Oh, it smells so good already. Now we've got that layer. Now we're gonna use the rest of the ricotta cheese, pesto, most of the mozzarella mixture. Put that down. This is gonna make non-veggie lovers, veggie lovers. And you can see how this would be a perfect main, vegetarian main dish. But if you've got a potluck you're going to or a barbecue, you could literally make this in advance, kind of wrap it in foil and heat it up on an outdoor grill or in a friend's oven and serve this alongside what everybody else is serving. And you will have a whole bunch of brand new friends. I can guarantee you that. All right, now for the rest of the tomato layer. And also, you know, the tomatoes are just so colorful. That's why I don't hide them. These are gonna be peeking out through the rest of the mozzarella cheese. Just dump those on there. You can make this up to two days in advance if you are going to that said party, up to two days in advance and um, refrigerate it before you bake it. Just using my fingers. I think it's so much easier to use the tools that I was born with to make the tops of things look pretty. So there, that's that. Now we have the rest of that shredded mozzarella cheese, which I left about a quarter cup and I love it. And you don't want to smother it with cheese because you do want the tomatoes to peek through and some of that cheesy basil pesto mixture too. And then one or two tablespoons, I clearly have about two here, of grated, really good grated Parmesan cheese. Parmigiano Reggiano, Pecorino Romano would work if you already have a big hunk of that in your fridge, but definitely the trick is to grate it right before you're gonna use it so you get that wonderful nutty flavor. So there you go. Awesome, right? Okay, oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna cover this with foil for the first 15 minutes and then I'm gonna uncover it and let it go until it's golden brown on top. Oh my gosh, check this out. Can you see it bubbling? Look at that. That is a beautiful summer casserole with the grilled zucchini and yellow squash. And you know, this is a year round dish. If you wanna do this in the winter, you can do it with eggplant and onions. Oh, this looks good. I really hope you try this, whether it's for dinner tonight or whether it's for a party this weekend, I know you're gonna love the flavors of summer that just come bursting out of this dish. So stay tuned, subscribe. I've got lots more to share with you and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.